Hi and welcome to my six week postpartum update. I am six weeks and five days postpartum. Um, sorry I haven't been, a been able to update y'all but so many things have been going on that today I had my um, postnatal appointment and I decided as soon as I get home I was going to film this just because it, if I don't I probably won't. So I'll go ahead and tell y'all how things have been going in this past six weeks. Um, everything's going great um like i mentioned excuse me i did um i was in no pain like as soon as i left the hospital um it was bleeding a cup like a little bit i was still spotting up until like two weeks i completely stopped at two weeks um so i was in no pain like serious pain um i did this during the sec my second week i did um have a pain in my like lower back and it was just like the spot where they had done the epidural through and that was hurting a little bit so that that only lasted like a day or maybe two but um it would just hurt whenever it would get cold so um I was due to the temperature changes so that was fine um I did have some cramping while I was breastfeeding or pumping just because I don't know they said like your uterus uh, contracts is contracting so um I was having still like pains but it wasn't like serious it was just like oh I feel that but it wasn't serious serious um I did um so yeah besides that I was feeling awesome um I mean it's right there um I have been feeling awesome um however like most of us I feel we do tend to get a few um a few symptoms of postpartum depression um i wouldn't call my exact situation postpartum depression just because it only lasted like the first couple of weeks however um i did feel kind of helpless at some point um just because like i mentioned in ariana's update um she was not she's not a good sleeper she, well she's getting so much better i don't know but she was not a good sleeper at the beginning and she would just cry and cry and then so we would get no sleep and then um thankfully i eric helped so much but um she was just not sleep she was like she had she was colicky and then um so there would be no sleep and then i suffered from migraine since like i was little well like 13, 14, I don't remember. So I would get no sleep and then I would have a horrible migraine in the morning, like through the whole day. So my head would just hurt so bad. So all I wanted to do was sleep. And then I kept blaming myself that she would not sleep because I was like, because she was breastfeeding. So since she was colicky, I was like, it's what I'm eating. And then, and then everything would always go back to the whole oh it's because she was born early like she was not ready to come out i was induced it was all my fault that she had to come early like like i mentioned she did stop growing or like and get have reduced movement so we didn't want it to end so we did have to induce but um so i always was like it's my fault they, like if i should have eaten more i should have not done this i should have done this um and then she did stop growing um like the day well like i had an appointment the day before eric's car accident and then she was fine then so then everything was like to oh maybe it happened because you stressed about that or you had other stresses or like whatever and i was just like it's my fault that she was born early it was my fault that she was born so little it's my fault she can't sleep it's my fault um she was having like she wasn't having breathing issues because they never it was never a concern at the hospital or at her pediatrician but um she would have like she would have like a wheezy noise that sounded like a dolphin i feel like it was like a dolphin so she was having that and I was like it's also my fault so I kept blaming myself and then um I didn't have like a hatred towards myself it was more like a disappointment because I wasn't doing it and like I, like in my opinion also I wasn't postpartum depression just because um I feel like 
postpartum depression is more of a you can't stand your little kid or you don't want to see them or something like that like something against them and mine was completely opposite it was like kind of against myself I just felt disappointed I felt like I could have done so many different things and like obviously I cried a bunch and then my mom would tell me to not cry and like be like don't cry because if you feed her like like your emotions go through your boobs I don't know I don't know if it's real or not but she would tell me this and she's like and then you're gonna get her crying and stuff and she's like you're gonna have all that frustration and it's gonna go to her and then so I would not want I wouldn't want to cry but I just felt bad about myself and it wasn't like a completely the whole day kind of deal it was just like random moment in the day when I felt like like that um like I'd said thankfully Eric was so supportive um even though like I said she would not sleep throughout the in, at night so pretty much she would wake up from 11 to 3 non-stop crying from 11 to 3 and then Eric did go to work like normally most of the days so he would wake up like at 6 or well he's supposed to wake up at 6 or 7 but like pretty much he went in to work late the first couple of weeks every single day just because we would get no sleep till like three and it was just like crying and crying and we were at my mom's so we had help from her and then help from my brothers and we would like do everything and anything you can think of and she would just not cry so obviously i would like at that moment I wouldn't like I mean it would go through my mind that it was my fault but it wouldn't get serious till like when she was actually asleep and I was looking at her and looking at her and seeing how peaceful she was and I'm just like why can't you just be like this all the time or like just when I had quiet time by myself and like I would think I would say oh thankfully she's asleep now and then I'm like oh if you would have done this um she would always be like this and stuff like that so um I felt bad like I did blame myself um like I said I didn't think it was postpartum depression just because um it stopped it lasted probably like two weeks and it was just like there I guess it was more kind of like baby blues just because you know it's so different like I was so used to sleeping all the time um and then like I mentioned to add to that I have migraines that are triggered by no sleep so I would get no sleep and then so I would have migraines and it was horrible and then I couldn't really take any medication and it was just like horrible 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 first couple of weeks but thankfully everything is great now um I feel awesome I mean there is still those times where I'm like oh it's like I should have done this differently and I mean honestly truthfully I feel like the whole you could have eaten more or you could have done something else to not have her get induced early it's always going to be in my mind because I mean it's life it happened like i know it, it wasn't really my fault and there was nothing i could do but i mean it happened like it happened it's always going to be in the back of my mind thankfully she was completely healthy and she had no health issues and she didn't have time to have to spend any extra time in the hospital or anything but you know it's still gonna be, be in the back of my head so i don't think it's gonna you okay mama sorry like see right now um she she has a cold and you know it came back to my to the to my mind the last couple of days just because she had a cold and i was like oh her immune system was not ready and stuff but i mean we did take her to the er and they, they did like chest x-rays um blood work and like a bunch of tests and i mean everything's completely normal with her they were like actually you have a very healthy baby her blood blood is awesome everything seems great she just has a cold it's time to get cold so thankfully i didn't really have the thought of it's my fault that long because you know it wasn't but um besides that um besides those few little issues with my disappointment excuse me of myself everything has been going great um we we um we had my postpartum appointment like i said today and everything seems to be healing perfectly i can resume my everyday activities now and that's awesome because i was kind of frustrated of being home <laughs> 
and um, my weight gain is pretty much awesome. Um, I started my pregnancy overweight, so I was at 160, and then um, I went all the way up to 185 the day she was born, or the day before she was born, was the last time I got checked, and it was 185, so I only gained 25 pounds, and the day I got home, well, probably like a week, oh, yeah, because it was, because I did the one week postpartum thing, and I hadn't gotten checked yet, and then the day after that, I, I checked myself, and I was at 165, so I was only five pounds away from my original pre-pregnancy weight so that was awesome um like I mentioned I was with my mom and being Hispanic they have the whole idea of you can't do anything for 40 days because you know you could get in like everything can go downhill or something like that so pretty much I my mom would only let me eat and feed Ariana and besides that and sleep so I was not getting any exercise I would walk obviously we would go to the store every once in a while and just walk or like I would walk in the apartment but like I couldn't do any serious exercise or anything so um I did gain weight I gained two more pounds um so I am now 167 um as of today and so thankfully now that my six weeks are up and my my doctor did tell me everything was perfect I could resume every normal activity now um we are gonna start doing something about the weight um i will probably start this monday just because i want to start it like on a monday i don't know why but um i will probably give y'all an update on what i'm doing and stuff but um i honestly don't think i'm gonna do anything serious just because i am breastfeeding and i don't want like my supply to get interrupted because it kind of already is but um We'll just see how things go. I am completely normal, fine with the whole, what my body looks like right now. Honestly, I never imagined it would go back to how I am right now so fast. Um, I really thought I was gonna have to work a lot of, I was a lot work on it a lot, especially because she was only like five pounds and a half. So I still had like twenty pounds of extra, and I lost fifteen off fifteen pounds of them. So that was awesome like total I lost 20 pounds walking out of the hospital and it's just crazy but <laughs> thankfully I did and then so um okay so besides that um we did also talk about sex um obviously I can start having sex now I had already had sex and honestly it was awesome thankfully like I mentioned like I always talk about this my pregnancy was perfect my delivery was perfect like besides the induction thing like I was in no pain and then my postpartum was also perfect I was in like no serious pain either I didn't have any issues and like all the things that people would be like oh this is gonna hurt and it's gonna hurt sex was one of the things everyone talks about how painful sex is the first time honestly sex was completely normal <laughs> like um and we didn't even wait the whole six weeks so I figured it might be a little painful but I guess we just we were so in love and stuff that it was completely pressure ple, ple, it was complete pleasure so I was in no pain whatsoever I didn't have any spotting after it nothing and it was awesome just because there was no big belly and like everything um, which reminds me we are only using condoms um, I did not get on any birth control just because we didn't see if, like, I don't know, we didn't, not that we didn't see any use of it because obviously it's very important, but we feel like we didn't have to just because, um, we don't really, like, obviously we don't want a baby immediately, but we don't want to wait that long either, so, um, I guess I'll talk about that in another video I have coming up, but, um, so we're not, well, I'm not on any birth control so far um my decision might change and i might go to my ob and be like you know what i might start upper control but um i know pills were not gonna work for me and honestly having something inserted like inside of me i've heard i had so yeah that was quite an option for me either so we just figured condoms was gonna be the way to go and we'll just see how that works um i guess that's pretty much it for my postpartum update 
um, like I mentioned, um, I'll go ahead and have some more videos up for y'all. So if you do want to keep watching more, do subscribe. Um, ooh, forgot to mention, here's this sneak peek at her nursery. Um, we, I'm finally, I finally finished. I know this video should have been up months ago, but I was at home for like a month. So give me, cut me some slack, but, um, I am filming, I'm going to film it this week and then I'm going to post it up next week. And then I have a few other videos. So do, subs um, do subscribe and thanks for watching and I'll go ahead and see y'all next time. Bye.